Hey, what is up everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you here today talking about SummerSlam 2019 coming up to you live from Toronto, California. We've already made videos on the uh, main event as well as probably the co-main event of the uh, SummerSlam show. We've got Brock Lesnar, your WWE Universal Champion. Yes, it is still kind of weird to say that going up against Seth Rollins. And then we also have uh, Becky Lynch. Uh, defending her championship against Natalia, and now here we have a pretty Canada uh, focused show um, added uh, to SummerSlam on SmackDown. Charlotte versus Trish Stratus. Uh, I already was kind of confused a little bit of the about why Natalia became the number one contender to be going after. Uh, Becky Lynch's belt. I sort of thought that the uh, basis of this storyline was going to focus uh, uh, on the future of Total Divas, something that would that would pay off. Where Natalia was getting a shot to go out for the championship. Of course, she would fall fall short, but uh, you know she's probably going to be saying it, it's probably one of her last stands to go after it, and she's going to try her best see her training and try to uh, you know overcome the loss of her dad and stuff like that, but. Now here we are, WWE doubling down on the love of Canada uh, with SummerSlam making his return there. Trish Stratus coming back to WWE. Uh, I know that, you know, we just had the big Raw reunion on Monday night and Trish Stratus was not a part of it. And I can honestly tell you that even though there was a lot of names named for the show and a lot of them pulled cameos just sort of showing up unadvertised, but to me, honestly, when that show was over, Trish Stratus was a name that I was not really thinking about. Yes, she is a big name to WWE, but uh, we did see her make her return to 2011 um, when she came back to do Tough Enough and go into the uh, WWE Hall of Fame at, uh, I think, WrestleMania. I can't remember if it was 27 or, or 28, but I'm pretty sure I was there and I saw it. But... Um, uh, you know, even before Trish Stratus came back for Tough Enough, uh, and she had the match at WrestleMania 27 with uh, Snooki uh, going up against uh, Michelle McCool and um, John Morrison and Dolph Ziggler and all of them were involved in that. I think we had had two Monday Night Raw returns of Trish Stratus. And I think since uh, WrestleMania, I think Trish has came back at least once or twice. Uh, to me, honestly, the buzz about Trish Stratus coming back, especially wrestling that one more match. Oh, she wrestled a, a, a match, like, last year at Evolution. Um, she wrestled in that tag match. Um, I think it was against uh, Alicia Fox, and um, it was supposed to be, um, shoot, Alexa Bliss, but Alexa Bliss got replaced. I, I, it shows you, I, I can't really remember that match. I, I even think that uh, Trish Stratus teamed up with Lita, if I remember right, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. It was originally planned to just be Alexa versus Trish, and I thought that match was a little bit weird. Um, but to me, um, Trish Stratus, she took the implants out. She doesn't even have the blonde hair anymore. Her coming out as the brunette is almost like, you know, when we all thought the Ultimate Warrior wasn't the Ultimate Warrior, he just was a different guy. Um, in the face paint, and you know, you know, there was that rumor back in the day, and everybody sort of just thought it was just another dude. To me, Trish Stratus almost has that effect. Effect. She, you know, women get older, and as we've seen with like Tori Wilson, it doesn't always mean that they lose their looks. There was plenty of good-looking go girls on, uh, on the Raw reunion, but you know, with losing the the um the implants, losing the blonde hair. To me, I have honestly lost the appeal of Trish Stratus easily. Um, I might I was going to say in the top five, but how do you not say easily the hottest woman that's ever been in the WWE? And she really just has no effect on me anymore. I just, I, I just don't get it. But um, I think that she's going to bring a match to Charlotte. Charlotte definitely looking for a, a match. Uh, it almost reminds me of Tyler Breeze. Uh, going up against Shoots and Thunder Liger at that NXT Brooklyn show years ago where um, it wasn't for a championship. It wasn't a number one contenders match. It was sort of like a, the dream matchup that you never really hoped for. But then once you got it on paper, you knew it was going to be good. Um, I don't really know what this, this brings uh, for Charlotte. I don't know what this brings for Trish Stratus. Uh, it would be fun to see Trish win the match. Although I don't really see her winning it. 
Um, but although, what if Charlotte loses this one? Does she just show up on Monday or show up on Tuesday acting like nothing happened and um, uh, just continue on? Maybe it's even like, going to be like a WCW thing where even though she lost the match, she gets a push out of it. I mean, if you go back to those late uh, 2000 pay-per-views, almost if you if you look at 1999 to 2000 WCW pay-per-views, there would be the main event. And then there would be sort of like the co-main. Normally the guy who lost the co-main that put somebody over on pay-per-view number one. On pay-per-view number two, they would main event the show getting a championship shot. It makes no sense, but that's WCW for it. So we'll see what this gets. Um, it's a little bit of a head scratcher. We're going to have to see how this one plays out. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more of uh, Trish Stratus on SmackDown. But... Um, Looks like a pretty fun match on paper. We'll just have to see if there's any payoff in the end.